Della Dunbar has been a professor of mathematics at the University of Richmond for more than 25 years. She teaches across the mathematics curriculum, including calculus, linear algebra, and number theory. She also specializes in the history of mathematics. Della, you're a math historian. Exactly what do math historians study? So the history of mathematics is such an exciting field because it not only focuses on mathematics, but also the people that create that mathematics, the institutions that support them, and the cultural influences that impact that development. But it always comes back to people. So that little equation you see or that theorem you want to prove, there's a long history behind it and it's my job and it's a luxurious job to make that history become real. I've heard you describe calculus as the language of change. Exactly what does that mean? So one question to ask yourself is why are we still teaching this? Why is it still a requirement after 350 years? And that's because there are only two fundamental concepts in calculus and they both describe change. So the derivative measures what's called instantaneous change. So this means if you're producing 100 iPhones, what's the cost of producing the next iPhone? The other concept is an integral, and this measure is total net change. For example, when it gets super cold and you leave your faucet running all night so that your pipes won't freeze, that water drips at a certain rate. And so how much water did you uh, run all night long while you were sleeping? Well, the integral will help you figure that out. One semester of calculus. You learn about the derivative, you learn about the integral, and you learn about their relationship. And no matter how fat a calculus book is, it's always about the derivative and the integral. I wish I'd had you in high school. I took calculus my senior year in high school. It was rough. <laughs> well, it is rough for a lot of students, I have to say, but it's so beautiful. You just have to get work through to get to the beauty part. Della, the profile of the University of Richmond has evolved over the years so that now we have many more international students. How has their presence made a difference in your classroom? When you're bringing students, let's say from Eastern Europe, they have a very strong geometric training. Your American students have a very strong algebraic training. Your students from China have a very strong emphasis on the community. So you have a certain influence on your content right there from the start. And I find that international students, uh, they're very open to not only learning mathematics, but learning about other students. The atmosphere of the math classroom is really conducive to harnessing the strength of the international population. Well, Della, thank you so much. Um, I can understand why your students enjoy taking mathematics courses from you. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Surely.